slavery for 400 years. For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You're entitled to your opinion. World is talking about that moment. Kanye West has tried to clarify those inflammatory statements made on TMZ Live Monday, but the backlash continues. Dalton Higgins is an author and expert in hip hop culture. He joins us this morning with his thoughts on Yeezy's meltdown. So happy to have you here. Hey, thank you, Dina. Okay, let's first talk about that moment where he basically pretty much said slavery is a choice. Right. What is going on? Yeah, well, I'm here Why to say... Why would he even say that? Dina Pugliese, um, slavery is not a choice, okay? Right. Um, what, what Kanye needs to do is he, he needs to go pick up a book or, or re-enroll in college. You know, his first album was called College Dropout. He takes yep. pride in the fact that he dropped out of college. He needs to re-enroll. There's so much great literature out there that talks about the transatlantic slave trade and, um, you know, the, the, just how disgusting and horrible it was and slave rebellions, you know? There's this great film called Birth of a Nation, Nat Turner, talking about the, you know, rebelling against the slave trade. So mm. that's what Kanye needs to do. Now, I find Kanye West in general to be a huge... This is, this is a huge distraction away from some real pressing, timely, topical issues happening out there. There's a humanitarian crisis in Puerto Rico, protests, and this is a huge distraction away from that. Yeah, well said. And we are feeding his ego. I always say there's two sides of the narcissistic coin. On one, you have a massive ego, and on the other, you have incredible insecurity. He used to be at the top of the game, and he said, listen, now Drake's taken over. You've got Kendrick, who's getting Pulitzer Prizes and who's being seen as the, the next it guy. You've got Khalid. I mean, all of these stars, he feels irrelevant. Do you think it's a hip-hop hip -hop midlife crisis? It, it most definitely is. Yeah. I mean, his, yeah, his Achilles heel, and he's even admitted as such, is, is his ego. Um, so now in 2018, as far as, you know, Cardi B, um, you go to the clubs, you listen to what people are playing their cars and malls, it's Cardi B. Yeah. Um, who is arguably the most popular rapper of today? It's Drake. Mm -hmm. You know, who's the most clever, wittiest, smartest? Maybe Kendrick Lamar. Right. And when we talk about Kanye West, I mean, he's turning 41 uh, next month, and... So you're looking for a bit of wisdom. You know, he's getting a bit older. He's been in the game for a number of years. And you look at what rappers are maybe the wisest, and it's, it's not him either. You know, it's somebody, it could be Jay-Z, right. who's talking about entrepreneurship and black empowerment. Right. So he, there's a bit of a downward spiral happening, and I think he, this reeks of desperation. So what do you think it's going to happen and is happening right now to his fan base? Yeah, his brand. Yeah, well, a lot of friends of mine in the hip-hop community and, uh, you know, musicologists, uh, they have already unfollowed him. Um, now, I think this sort of public train wreck thing, I mean, this is nothing new. Also, too, we don't want to behave like this is a new thing. You know, the Taylor Swift incident, uh, George Bush doesn't like black people, which I don't think he did. Um, so this is really nothing new. This is part of the Kanye West trajectory. Um, so we shouldn't be that, that surprised. Now, what would you say if he was here right now? What advice would you give Kanye? Should he just stay off social media and any sort of live television outlet? Yeah, I would say... For him, focus back on the art, you know? The reason we uh, love, appreciate, adore Kanye West, it's his art. It's not his uh, hijinks outside of the studio, you know? So he is still very much a musical genius, um, or he's what I call like a classic idiot savant. So on the one hand, he, he, he displays idiotic, moronic behavior outside of the studio, mm -hmm. but then he is a savant. He is a genu genuine genius, you know? So focus on the music and the art and the clothes, clothing yeah. lines, you know, Adidas, Yeezus, yeah. Because I will say, I mean, some of the tweets he's been putting out are great, where he says, love, you know, your enemy, and try and put positivity out there, and emancipate your mind. He means well in saying those things in terms of, you know, we should maybe be more free thinkers, but you can't then say, P.S., slavery was a choice. So it's almost like he's even getting confused in his own thought. I don't know. I don't know what to make out of all that. And then there's Kim Kardashian who's being targeted. Why aren't you, you know, making your husband, whatever, have him stop tweeting and talking altogether? What should she be doing? Because their brand is huge, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, his rhetoric is, um, it's dangerous, you know, mm. because what it's doing, it's fueling a lot of the right-wing extremists yeah. uh, to say, you know, slavery is done, forget about it. No, you wouldn't tell, you know, indigenous community members to forget about genocide, you know, or people, members of the Jewish faith to say, hey, the Holocaust is done, let's forget about it. You would, you wouldn't dare do that, you know? As far as the Kardashian piece, I think what they're going to do is they're going to, Kim, his wife, I think she's going to distance herself um, from Kanye West yeah. um, because uh, it could do irreparable harm and damage to her own brand, mm -hmm. which she's spent, you know, the last decade plus uh, c cultivating. But again, she's no stranger to scandal, and sometimes that's helped fuel their success because the more people are talking about them. And then you think, does he just want us all talking about him? Because last night, I don't know if you saw his Twitter feed, but it was bit after bit about his fashion. So it's like, okay, are you just hoping to sweep all that other stuff under the rug now that you've, 
you know, started a whole bunch of fires. Yeah, totally. It's, you, you don't know where he's going next, and we're almost fascinated by that, too. Well, he, here's the thing. I don't think, you know, we talk about trauma. I mean, I don't think Kanye West has completely come to grips with uh, how his mother died. Right. Um, so a week ago, he tweeted a picture of the, of the surgeon that performed, uh, you know, uh, liposuction, yeah. tummy tuck, breast reduction surgery on his mother. And I think he's still sort of coping with that. I think right. that's the sort of deeper hidden issue. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And, you know, and also, too, his wife, you know, got, uh, you know, uh, stuck up at gunpoint in Paris. Yes. So there are all these other things going on that I just don't think he's really come to grips with. I mean, could you imagine you, Dina, paying for your mother to get cosmetic surgery and then her dying a day later? From complications. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's hard to deal with. He's got a lot to work through because we know he always did like to be very uh, shocking, you know, previous to all of this. And now I think he's come to grips. Maybe it's coming to the surface. Yes. I guess we'll watch and see. Thank Have you so much, Dalton. For more information, uh, Dalton Higgins 5, I'm sure we will have you on again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be back with more BT right after this.